Hello everyone. I hope that you people are liking my content. Hoping that you subscribe the channel and also share videos among your contacts and help in growing this channel. So today in this video we will be learning to send a email from a Java code. Here the sender, the source email would be a Gmail email, right? And you can send email to any, right? You can send it to a Yahoo email. You can send it to your Gmail email as well. So here in this example, we'll not be interacting with the database as we'll be making a just a POJO class and we'll be doing the operations on that POJO class data. So let's get started. Let's go to the ID and we we'll go to files we'll go to new and we'll make a spring starter project so there are some dependencies that we require to send a email as well so let's go next and here uh, we need a basic dependency of spring web and to send the email there is a particular dependency that we need to uh, import into our project that is java mail sender dependency so we'll tick on this as well and we'll finish it the project will get imported to your id right i have already made the project so i'll tell you i'll show you the structure of the project so the structure of the project looks like this and this is our main class so we'll start with directly making a model package model package will contain our po pojo class that pojo class will not be storing any data into a database it's just used to actually take data and send the email to that particular email id which we are getting as an input right so we'll make a new and then package we'll say dot model and we'll make a new class so the example i'm taking is of a student so we'll have a student name and an email id of the student so we'll be sending email to that particular student. So I'll simply say that I need a string name of the student and a string email of that student, right? So we'll generate the getters and setters as told in the previous example, use the default way to generate the getters and setters. Don't write by yourself. So select all and we'll generate the getters and setters here. So it is the model class part is done. Now we'll make an endpoint. So the endpoint we'll make in the controller class. So we'll make a new package of a controller. So we'll say dot controller. And then we'll make a controller class. So I'll say student controller. So we need some basic annotations that is rest controller first to yes we need rest controller and then I'll make a rest endpoint to simply send the email to the user. So we'll be getting the object of student object means the JSON structure of a student which will contain name and email ID of that student. So we'll read that data and we'll send the email to that particular email ID. So right now I am sending the email from my Gmail account. So simply I'll make a endpoint public and okay. The, now we have to give the a very formulated kind of a response to the user as well that we have sent the email. So we'll be using that particular uh, method of generating the response which I did in the CRUD application as well. So I'll write public response entity and it's it would be of type object and we'll say send email and i'll be getting input as request body student student right so now we have to declare that this is our endpoint so we need to give some mapping so i'll say post mapping and i'll say send mail right send mail so this is okay the student class is not get it not imported right now okay it is important now 
so now it is saying that give a the return type of it so i'll do it first we'll perform operations to send the email so we'll import simple mail message class yes simple i would say sm equals new simple mail message right now in the sm we need to input our details that who is the sender and who is the receiver so send from send from i will be using my java email id so i will say java tech w at the from email id now we have to set the two email id so two would be the input that we are getting so we'll say student dot get email and we have to send the email to this particular email now i would say that i need to set some subject as well so i'll say set subject set subject i can simply say uh, welcome to java spring boot application right and then we need to set the text as well so we'll say set text so set text and here we can give anything that needs to go into the body so i'll say hello and i have the name right so i'll simply say student dot get name and i'll say plus i'll say slash in for the next line another slash in for another next line and i'll again say welcome to the java spring boot mail example right so this would be the mail i would be sending now we need to send the email so to send the email as we have used java mail sender dependency so we need to actually have a object of that as well so we'll be requiring java mail sender object so java mail sender sender so we need to actually auto wire this as we are doing injection of this particular bean so we'll use java mail sender dot send right and in the send i'll say sm now we need to actually specify the return type so before specifying the return type we need to make the method to generate the return type right so i'll say public i'll say public response entity of type object and i'll say generate response and i'll have input as string message https status status and an object of response right and i'll say simply uh, declare a map of string and object as we did in the previous example as well so i'll say mp equals to new hash map so so it is actually saying error because it is not imported so i'll say simply i'll say again hash map and it will get imported okay so now i have to put the parameters into the map so i'll say map dot put and sorry it's compute map dot put and 
I'll say message and comma msg map dot put np dot put and I'll say it's why it's getting so I need status so status is our st dot value and we need the object that is the data part the data part right so data is our response so now we need to return response entity of type object and we'll simply say mp comma st this would be our return type right why it is showing error let me check okay we need to use the keyword new first and then we need to send the output okay so now it is returning the expected output so we'll use this particular method here return generate response and we'll pass the message as email sent to the mail we have the mail right so we'll say student dot get email and this is a string so we need to add plus here status we can say https status dot ok as a request is successful and the response is our student object so i'll say student simply i'll say student right so it is done now what is the error we are missing on semicolon so it is done now our endpoint is also ready so now we'll go and update our property files as we need to add some properties i have already added it i'll show you the properties we need the host that our host is gmail we need the port of the gmail we need our username username would be our email id from which we have to send the email password the password we uh, the password of our uh, email id i'll tell you actually two ways to send the email from your gmail id this is the older way where you will be in, uh, inputting your password in the place of password your email id password in place of your password and these are the properties that we need to add into our property files so it is done so let's go and run the application first so we'll go to spring boot gmail example main class and we'll run the application So let's go to the endpoint and I am saying the email ID as Raman Popli19 at the gmail.com and the name as Raman. That's my email ID and I'll say send. So it will take a bit of time to send the email. I'll show you that how the content has been received on the email so you can see that this is the formulated kind of a response we have given to the user so i'll go to my so now you can see that how i have received this email from this particular email so it is sent on my gmail id so it says hello raman and welcome to java spring boot mail example so this is actually the older way where uh, I'll take you to the configuration of my that Gmail account and I'll show you what the configurations are right now as there is no two step verification on on this particular account and the when you go to the security section you can see that here we can see that uh, we have also enabled the access to less secure apps so this will actually get discontinued after 30th of may 
so there is another way to actually do it so first of all you need to actually uh, activate your uh, two step verification and then you have to generate an app password so after your two step verification is on there would be an option to actually create an app password when you click on the app password it will say you to actually uh, verify yourself so you have to input your password of your email and then it will ask you that for what reason you require a app password so you can say other custom uh, as you are making a testing application so you can say it as a test application you can input as test application and it will generate a password so the password you have to copy the password and you have to simply go into your property files and at the place of where you have input your password of the email id you have to input this particular password and yes it is done close the server run the server again so uh, you will close the server and then again run the server so this is the newer way of generating the e email from gmail as uh, the older way of accessing the less secure apps will get discontinued after 30th of may so let me send it again send the mail again so i'll hit the end point again so it should work so i'll show you the email that is it it is sent or not let's wait yes the email is being sent so let's go to raman's account and see that the mail is received or not yes the mail is received so it says hello raman welcome to java spring boot mail so this was was the latest one so i have received this mail so this is it from the video so hope that you people have liked the video and if any queries any feedback do comment in the comment section i would love to read it do like share and comment on the video and also subscribe to the channel i'll get back to you in the next video thank you